is the coldest, driest, and windiest place on Earth. Uh, as you can see from this diagram, the continental United States easily fit, fits inside the fifth largest continent. Uh, Grammy had the opportunity of flying the plane down from Atlanta to Buenos Aires and from there to Ushiwa and Terra del Fuego where we embark for the Southern Ocean. We went through the Drake Passage. It's about 500 miles from South America to the Antarctic Peninsula and this shows some of the route that we took on the National Geographic Explorer. The landscape that we saw was fantastic. Uh, here is a video of a view of the icebergs and the mountains from the uh, zodiac that we were riding around in. But each day when we uh, were uh, at sea, we would see one more dramatic landscape after the other. Uh, as you can see from this section of the video, we really had wonderful weather and uh, as we cruised further south uh, on the Antarctic Peninsula, uh, once again, uh, dramatic uh, peaks and uh, glaciers and snow-covered fields uh, greeted us uh, every morning. The further south we got, we got into ice fields uh, with more and more icebergs and floating ice uh, in the Southern Ocean. We uh, ran into an awful lot of penguins while we were there. This uh, shot shows thousands of penguins ashore on the Antarctic Peninsula. There were different varieties. These are the chin strap penguins. Uh, here's another view of a chin strap penguin uh, that you can see. And we also saw uh, Adele penguins as is seen here. And uh, these penguins uh, were quite endearing and uh, although <clears throat> they were very awkward on land, uh, they were something to behold. And here is a penguin colony uh, that uh, of the uh, Gentoo penguins that we can see here. Uh, Grammy and Granddad were ashore among the penguins and uh, although you can't tell it here, they actually had quite a smell. The Gentoo penguin is seen here with the white eye stripe and uh, while we were there, the uh, parents were busily uh, feeding the young penguins, which you can see that are still kind of covered in down, but the adult penguins would regurgitate fish. Although the penguins were uh, awkward on land, they were very graceful in the water uh, as they would porpoise out of the water. Uh, as you can see in this section of video here, the penguins uh, would come up for air uh, every now and again and uh, were actually uh, quite graceful under the water as they uh, swam back and forth in search of krill uh, and fish. Here's another uh, group of penguins that you can see from the uh, uh, ship that we were on and there are literally hundreds of penguins uh, porpoising across the water once again in, in search of uh, krill and of uh, smaller fish. <clears throat> We uh, also uh, saw a large number of seals. Uh, this section of the video shows uh, a pod of seals resting on an iceberg, uh, taking a little bit of a morning break. Uh, we uh, uh, were able to get ashore and see these fur seals as they uh, climbed into the water. These are some of the uh, eared seals or flippered seals. And as they go in, you can see that uh, although the water was quite chilly, uh, they were quite at home and enjoyed showing off their flippers and flipping around. Uh, the um, uh, these seals once again were very social uh, and uh, really enjoyed uh, playing with each other as uh, you can kind of see here just beyond these rocks the two seals kind of cavorting just having a little bit of fun. We saw fur seals uh, which are seen in this uh, section here we also saw uh, Waddell seals and crab eater seals. This is a crab eater seal. And uh, we also were able to encounter leopard seals. The leopard seals uh, dine on the penguins, uh, and that's their main source of uh, food. But <clears throat> the fur seals and the penguins get along very well as the fur seals uh, eat only the krill and the fish. 
We also encountered a number of whales. This is a pod of killer whales. You can see the Zodiac uh, a team observing them. And here from here, you, we actually learned that there are several different kinds of killer whales. And we also encountered a bunch of humpback whales. And here the humpback whales are just off the bow of the boat. And what these whales would do is they would dive down uh, several hundred feet and blow up a cylinder of bubbles. And that cylinder of bubbles would trap the krill and then they would swim up underneath and feast on the krill. And you can see the, the whales here feasting on the krill. This went on for about 45 minutes and was quite a spectacle. The further south we got, we uh, encountered more and more icebergs and we crossed the Antarctic Circle, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and as we crossed the Antarctic Circle, our a boat fortunately was an icebreaker and could break through this uh, sea ice. Uh, the icebergs that we encountered during the trip had fantastic shapes uh, and were very, very dramatic. This uh, tabletop iceberg and then this iceberg reminded us of a, a Gothic cathedral. Uh, the icebergs had continual light uh, playing across them and was really quite a spectacular uh, view of these different icebergs. Our ship docked in Neko Harbor, as you can see here, and uh, this was one of the opportunities that we had to get off, and we all uh, got off and climbed up the glacier, uh, as you can see here, uh, and with the ship in the background in the middle of this beautiful uh, setting of these dramatic mountains and glaciers uh, and snow-covered peaks. Uh, <clears throat> and once we were at the top, <clears throat> uh, you'll see in just a second that uh, Grammy and Granddad posed uh, for a picture uh, to get their a picture taken at the top of the peak with the uh, beautiful uh, mountains, the icebergs in the background. We also took the polar plunge and went swimming in the Southern Ocean. The temperature is about 32 degrees, but we both jumped in and uh, were able to say that we've done the uh, polar plunge. So from Grammy and Granddad and from all of us, uh, happy uh, 